check this out. I, again, I just said 147 passengers evacuated from Boeing over in France over cholera, right? 19 people confirmed sick on Emirates flight to JFK after 100 reported feeling ill. What is going on on the airplanes? What, what is being transferred, folks? What's being transferred over here? Is this, is this another, is this a setup? Why are these people getting sick? This is the easiest way to spread a pandemic. That's, it's not even funny. God almighty, God forbid. At least 19 people have been confirmed sick after a plane landed at John F. Kennedy Airport Wednesday morning with dozens on the packed international flight reporting feeling ill. Emirates Flight 203 from Dubai was quarantined on the runway for hours after many of the 521 passengers and some of the crew reported feeling ill on board the flight. The cause of the outbreak has not been confirmed, but a Jamaica hospital spokesperson says multiple passengers and crew treated were experiencing headache, sore throat, coughs, and fever. The office of New York City Mayor de Blasio, Mayor Bill de Blasio, and said 10 people were taken to the hospital, while another nine were sick but declined medical attention. Their symptoms pointed to the flu, his office said. Hmm. Aaron Sykes, who was on the Emirates flight, told New News for New York some passengers were sick before they even boarded the plane. When they were standing in line to board, people were coughing. People were not covering their mouths. See, that's weird to me. Are they agents? Spreading some kind of diabolical thing? ISIS said that they were going to try to do that, remember? We reported on that a couple years ago. ISIS. What was ISIS. Those cowards, that terrorist organization. They said they were going to infect some of their people themselves, apparently. to you know, In an effort to spread some type of diabolical sickness, plague, and it turned out that uh, some of them, I don't know how far it went, but some of them got in trouble with some flesh-eating bacteria. So, you know, you want to be careful with all that. Listen, folks, it's, it's real. You, we got to be, we, we just got to, we got to be saved. We got to be covered by the blood of Jesus. Our name has to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen? Come on, amen. Amen. It says here, Aaron Sykes, well, the same fellow who said that they were, people were standing in line, you know, people were coughing, not covering their mouths. He said he, he became so concerned by the situation that she, or she, excuse me, she became so concerned by the situation that she asked a flight attendant for a mask before the flight took off. The attendant, however, said there weren't any on board. So she said, I proceeded to put my jacket and the blanket over my head for the entirety of the flight because so many people were coughing and so dramatically, adding that some passengers were sick to their stomachs. After landing, rapper Vanilla Ice, Vanilla Ice? As an Ice Ice Baby? That's okay, well. After landing, rapper Vanilla Ice confirmed, is he saved? He was also on the flight. He was not sickened, so we give God praise for that. But the flight landed about 9, 10 a.m. to huge emergency runway response. Port Authority Police and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention were there, waiting in a staging area to check the passengers. Sure they were. Anyway, it's, uh, you know, they're, they're saying here the mayor's office initially said the flight had stopped in Mecca, which is experiencing a flu outbreak. Oh, okay. Mecca, Saudi Arabia, is experiencing a flu outbreak, and that may be a possible source of the outbreak. We rebuke it now in Jesus' name. We rebuke the flu. We rebuke symptoms of the flu now in Jesus' name. We command it to leave. We command it to cease and desist in this operation. And be thou removed. Be thou cast in the midst of the sea, never to return in Jesus' name. A spokesperson later said the flight was in fact direct, but that some of the passengers had previously been in Mecca. Listen, another headline about airports, airplanes. Easy jet emergency flight from Berlin to Toulouse, forced to divert. Uh, I'm not sure if it says why. They just had a technical issue. So that's what it says here. The flight took off at 9.30 a.m. German capital 
was due to land at Toulouse two hours later. However, the flight is now headed to Frankfurt, uh, and uh, they they was due to a technical issue. So uh, some weird things happening over in the airports and airplanes. Uh, some symptoms of flu and cold and cough and sickness and disease. Again, we rebuke it now in Jesus' name. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' name. I said, no weapon formed against us shall prosper in Jesus' name. Some of you need to lay claim to the promises of God again, which are yes and amen to the glory of the Father. Say, Father, I speak your word over my heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit. I speak your word over my children, over the health of my children, over my spouse, over the health of my spouse, over my family and my loved ones, my co-workers and my neighbors. I speak your word now. And I say, peace be still. I speak forth your healing and your blessing now upon our bodies. Father God, I thank you that no evil shall befall us. Neither shall any plague come near our dwelling. Father, we ask that you have your angels to keep charge over us, to keep us in all of our ways. Father, we trust you. Uh, we, we, we put our dependence on you. You are our mainstay. You are a very present help in a time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed and the mountains be carried to the midst of the sea. Even though a thousand may fall at our side and 10,000 at our right hand, it will not come near us. Father God, we speak your word of healing. We speak your word of peace and protection. We receive your peace. We receive your protection. Is anyone speaking this with me? Praise God. We speak your healing now in Jesus' name. We command symptoms of sickness to leave our bodies now in Jesus' name. We command flu symptoms. We command cold symptoms. We command symptoms of disease and infirmity to leave our bodies, leave our houses, leave now, never to return in Jesus' name. Father, we give you praise.